Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Trump just used three words in 9/11 speech that Obama would never dare say in public. President Trump called out radical Islamic terrorism during his speech commemorating the terror attacks of September 11, 2001. Trump spoke at a memorial service in Shanksville, Pennsylvania, on the anniversary of the Flight 93 crash 17 years ago. Flight 93 was hijacked by terrorists who were planning on ramming the plane into a target in Washington, D.C. on the morning of September 11, potentially the U.S. Capitol or White House. Upon hearing that they were a part of the greater terror plot gripping the country, Flight 93 passengers heroically rushed the cockpit of the plane and attacked the terrorists. The rushing of the cockpit led to the crashing of the plane and the loss of 44 lives. During his speech at the memorial where the plane crashed, Trump said, a piece of America's heart is buried on these grounds, but in its place has grown a new resolve to live our lives with the same grace and courage as the heroes of Flight 93. This field is now a monument to American defiance. This memorial is now a message to the world. America will never, ever submit to tyranny. The audience, gathered in dreary weather, cheered the speech. Since September 11, nearly five and a half million young Americans have enlisted in the United States Armed Forces, Trump continued. Nearly 7,000 service members have died facing down the menace of radical Islamic terrorism. The use of the term radical Islamic terrorism was impactful in the speech. Trump did not use the term in his speech during last year's 9-11 remembrance ceremony. The term radical Islamic terrorism was all but banned from the White House during the Obama administration. President W. Bush, the only other president in the post-9-11 era, used the term sparingly. Trump continued, saying, Today, we also think of the more than 200,000 service members now serving overseas and we think of every citizen who protects our nation at home, including our state, local and federal law enforcement. These are great Americans. These are great heroes. We honor and thank them all. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.